Today I'm reading a story from Wigwam Stories by Edward and Marguerite Dolch. These are collection. This is a collection, a book of uh, American, Native American or American Indian uh, stories. Tonight's today's story is the Healing Waters. It's an Iroquois story. It was winter and the ground was white with snow. A great sickness was upon the Indian people. The chiefs and the medicine men did not know what to do. Many Indians died. There was one young man, Yikomonta by name, who was very sad. His grandfather and his grandmother had become sick and died. His father and his mother had become sick and died. And now his beautiful wife was sick and he knew that she was going to die. Nikomonta prayed to Manitou, the great spirit. Great one, hear me. I stand before you in great sadness. My grandfather and my grandmother, my father and my mother, they have gone to the other land, and my wife is going. Do not let her go away. I, I know that the great spirit has put the plants on the earth to make us well. Oh, Manitou, Manitou, please help us find the plant that will make my wife well. Great Spirit, help, hear me and help me. Nicomonta covered his wife with blankets and soft furs. Sleep well, my wife, he said. I will bring you the plant that puts the sickness away from you. All day long, Nicomonta walked over the white snow. Not one plant did he see, for the plants were asleep in the, in the ground waiting for springtime. All the next day, Nicomonta walked over the white snow. He came to the forest where the animals were sleeping. He saw a rabbit run out of the forest. Rabbit, rabbit, cried Nicomonta. Help me find the plant that will make my wife well. The rabbit ran away. He could not tell Nicomonta that he would not find any plants, for the plants were all asleep in the earth waiting for springtime. Nicomonta saw a big black bear and he called out to the bear, Help me, help me find the plant that will make my wife well. But the bear could not help him. All the next day, Nicomonta hunted in the forest for the plant that would make his wife well. He could not walk very well, for he was very tired. He had no sleep and no food for three days. As night came on, he fell down on the ground and went to sleep. Then the animals who lived in the forest came and stood around him. Nicomonta had always been good to the animals that lived in the forest. Then the bear spoke to Manitou, the great spirit. Manitou, O oh great one, we the animals of the forest call to you. Help this man, for he is good. Manitou has put things upon the earth, many things. Some are food. Some make us well when we are sick. Help Nicomonta find something that will make his wife well. Manitou the Great One heard the animals in the forest, and he sent a dream to Nicomonta. Nicomonta saw a beautiful wife, his beautiful wife smiling at him, and then she began to sing, and the song turned into the singing of many waters. The waters were singing, Find us, find us, we are the healing waters of the great Manitou. Find us, find us, we can make your wife well. Nicomonta awoke. He looked all around, but he could see no water. He saw only the white snow in the forest, but he could hear the water singing. Find us, find us, we are the healing waters of the great Manadu. And the song seemed to be coming from under his feet. Nicomonta began to dig in the ground. He used sticks and stones and he dug into the earth. He could hear the water singing. He was very tired and his hands were hurt by the digging, but he made the hole far down into the ground. And all at once the water in the ground came up into the hole. Nicomonta washed himself into the waters and he was strong again. Then Nicomonta said to the Manitou, the Great Spirit, Great one, I thank you for this day you have given to me, for my wife and for my people, the healing waters of the great Manitou. Nicomonta took some of the healing waters back to his wife. When Nicomonta had gotten back to the village, he found his wife was almost over to the other land. 
she could not even smile to him. Then he washed her face and he washed her hands with the healing water and she was well again. Then Nicomonte sent the sick people into the forest to get the healing waters. They washed in the water and were all made well again. And never again did the great sickness come back to kill the people. Nicomonte was very happy. His people had made him their chief, and he made everyone happy for he was good and kind. And always his people called him the chief of the healing waters. And Nicomonte never went to sleep at night without saying, Manitou, the Great One, we your people thank you for all the good things that you have given us. This is one of the many stories in the Wigwam Tales, Wigwam stories that I grew up reading when I was young in the 1960s. I hope you enjoyed it.